Hey guys, this is Matthew. Welcome to another Alice tutorial. So, so far we've shown you how to set up a scene, well, how to install Alice, then set up a scene, how to rotate things so that your motion on things like cars or, or helicopters, anything with wheels looks more natural. Now I'm going to show you how to attach your camera to objects and then also how to uh, set up several cameras so that your your scene looks more like a movie or you can control which shots uh, are put in your in your animation so I've got Alice right here we're just gonna open that up and this is our normal window and um, if your regular window doesn't look like this I've explained this a couple times before but you can always go into the window preferences and if your emphasize classes is selected, just click that once to deselect it, and it'll give it more of the look and feel that I have. Um, so this is kind of our initial scene. And what we're going to do is, first off, um, if it's not up, just click on, don't make sure it's not an object, click on the ground somewhere, and that'll select this object. If you have something else selected, it'll say what's selected there. So just click there, that'll select this, and all the way at the top of the procedures tab, there's these five uh, procedures that come with every Alice uh, program that you start. So this initialize event listeners, if that's not already up, click edit on that and that'll bring up this guy. And up at the top you should have this uh, scene activated thing. So what I want you to do is in scene in my first method I want you to just go click on the red rover I'm sorry not click on the red rover but click on the camera and the very first procedure of the camera is set vehicle and what this means is uh, set vehicle it's kind of a way to think about this is if you're inside a car you're inside a vehicle so you are attached to the car, and wherever the car goes, you're going to go too. So setting the vehicle means setting up that the camera will be attached to whatever object you choose. In this case, we're going to choose the Red Rover. So that wherever this little guy moves, you're going to be attached to him. The camera will. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take this object, or this procedure, drag it up into the scene activated and drop it either at my first method or below it or above it. And at this point it doesn't matter because there's nothing in my first method. So I'm just going to choose and I chose this camera, that doesn't matter. What we, what I actually do want to choose is the Red Rover. So what this says is this camera is going to be vehicled to or his vehicle is going to be set as the Red Rover so that wherever the Red Rover moves the camera is going to move to. So in the last tutorial we kind of showed you keyboard control and setting up movement of the wheels. So now if we click run and click in here to deselect because by default this pause button is selected so the keyboard controls won't work so click in here and then as I move the object, notice that the camera is actually moving with it. And as I rotate, notice that the keyboard is actually, or the uh, camera is rotating with the, uh, with the Red Rover. So that is actually as simple as setting up the camera to move with a certain object is. It's really straightforward. All it is is that one single command that this camera, its vehicle, is set to the Red Rover. And what's cool about that is this vehicle command doesn't just have to be cameras. If we wanted this boulder, which is boulder number five, we could actually go into the boulder's procedures and we could set the vehicle of the boulder to the camera. So this is just a far out example, but it kind of shows you, say if you had a car and a person and you wanted the person to get in the car and drive with the car, then you would set the vehicle of the person to the uh, camera or to to the uh, the object. So now if I click run, Alice has encountered an error. Oh, <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. 
I should have chosen Red Rover because you can't set the vehicle or you can't set the boulder to follow itself. That doesn't make sense. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. So now if I click Run, uh, when I move the Red Rover, see that the boulder is actually moving with it also. So that's just um, a little side topic on vehicles, which is very useful. I'm just going to get rid of this for right now. So setting the vehicle, the, the camera's vehicle, is one important thing. And I'm just going to show you one other thing, which allows you to set up multiple cameras. So we have our this the way it is, and I'm just going to click the scene setup, which will take us right here. And here, see these controls? It, this is the same as in Alice 2, but when I move these controls, these are for moving the camera up and down. So when I click up, notice that the camera moves up and down. And these are for left and right. This is for forward and backward. And these ones, this, these two are for rotating around, like up and down. And then these ones are kind of for rotating from side to side. Kind of if you were standing where the camera is and you just started turning to your left, turning to your right. That's what these two are. So right now and you always want to do this right now is our kind of initial scene this is how we have it set up so what I want to do is go over here and by default this won't show up it'll be your your screen is gonna look like this but if you scroll down to the bottom you're gonna or not scroll down but right here you have this markers thing click on the markers and that'll open up your camera markers so right off at the beginning of your scene you want to hit create camera marker here and its default will say camera red we're gonna call it start and just click OK and what this does is this allows you to always come back to the start of where your scene was set up so if you don't set this up at the beginning once you move somewhere and you can move pretty fast and get kinda of lost you'll have a really hard time getting back to where you did it but since we added this start we'll always be able to get back to that first initial camera setup so now really fast I'm gonna sh oh, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute really fast what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to this uh, thing right here and we're gonna move up and this is say hypothetically if you were an alien and you were watching what was going on with the Red Rover all the way over here so I'm just going to move back and say you're an alien sitting on top of this really high uh, tree stump or whatever this thing is. So kind of set it up to the way that we like it. There you can kind of get a feeling for you're an alien kind of standing right there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create a second marker and call this instead of camera green like alien view select OK and notice that alien view is now selected here so for right now because we're in the the edit code notice that there's a camera right here and a camera right there those things when you actually go to hit the run those will disappear it's just set up right now so you can kind of see what's going on so we've got our two views the start and the alien view and the way to switch back and forth between them uh, is a little unintuitive, but I'll, I'll show you how to do it. So you can't just click on Start and click on Alien View. It won't take you there by default. What you have to do is click on Start and then click this button, which is Move the Camera to this view. So you select what camera you want, and that would be our Start, and then you say Move the Camera to this view. So I click on that and boom it takes me back to the start so in that way I'm able to move, quickly move from one to the other in my my setup view now really fast I want to show you how to set this to set in your in your camera or in your normal code to, to program that moving back and forth okay so we'll go back to edit code we'll go to um, we'll go to right here in the scene activated and what we'll do is we'll say we'll click on the camera and we'll say first we're gonna delay a second or we'll, we'll delay two seconds so there will be a two second wait and then 
we want the camera to move and orient to. So we're going to move it up here, or we'll drop it below the delay, and we'll say we want it to move and orient to, and it's alien view. Because notice that those that start and alien view, those two views that we created, appear down here now in our list of objects. So we're going to click alien view. And so all we did was we added a camera delay of two seconds, and then we said move and orient to alien view. So when we click run, first it'll show us this, but then after two seconds it moves to the alien view. So that's one way of quickly and efficiently moving from one view straight to another view. Um, you just go into your scene setup, you create these different camera mar markers, and then you go into your code and you call those markers in the camera with the camera move and orient to procedure. And honestly, we could do that again, where we wait a certain amount of time, say two seconds, and then we move and orient to camera to the start view. So we'll click run. So after two seconds, we move to the aliens view, we wait another two seconds, and we move back. So that, in a nutshell, guys, is how you do camera movement in Alice. And there are a lot of other cool things you can do with cameras. We'll probably cover some, some really cool stuff with that in a later tutorial, but that should be enough to get you started with camera movement. So good luck, and we'll see you next time.